Hi everyone! Throughout Spirit Science, we've opened up discussions of dimensions, crystals, and Atlantis, as well as the mystical world of sacred geometry. The flower of life, a sacred form from which everything comes. In the last year, this image has become widespread. People around the world are sharing sacred geometry and talking about what it is and what it means. Today, let's explore this a little deeper. In the field of quantum physics, we have now verified this to be the structure upon which everything is built. Particle physics is still having some trouble in seeing this. In physics, we have what we call the standard model, but the standard model is not a complete model of the universe. It does not account for gravity or how particles that have no mass can have a mass when they come into physical manifestation in the third dimension. Personally, I think we can know a deeper truth than that, but we'll get there shortly. With last month's discovery of what a lot of people are calling the kind of sort of God particle particle, it seems we're getting closer and closer to figuring this whole thing out. Check this out. If you haven't heard of it, there's a show on the Science Channel called Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman. It's an absolutely brilliant show where they openly discuss quantum physics and how things work at a more conscious and cosmic level. They have tons of episodes ranging from extraterrestrial life to are we God in body? This is one particular clip from the start of season two, where they are discussing the universe being alive. Jurgen believes that even though the size of our video game universe is immense, the program that creates it does not have to be complex at all. Just as in art, a few basic curves can create a pattern of great complexity. There is a very short program that makes this pattern, and I can reuse it again and again to makes a slightly more complex pattern. Only very few of these circles are used to define every little detail of this drawing. Which means that the final drawing, this one here, can be encoded by a very simple program that can be written down in three or four lines of code. The entire universe is nothing more than a pattern of atoms. So if we could find a simple program that recreates that shape in a simulation, Jürgen believes we could understand all of physics and the entire history of the cosmos. So if we had this short program that computes this universe, then of course we could replicate every single event that ever uh, happened within it. Especially we would, in principle, be able to figure out what exactly happened during the Big Bang and then afterwards. From the quantum physics, we can see that this pattern is fundamental to our biology. We've even seen videos and images now showing that your physical manifestation into this earth reality, into your body, moves in the same pattern that the universe is formed through. You are the genesis of creation and you are capable of tuning into it. I want to introduce the template. A beautiful team of light workers in the UK have been doing their research and putting together videos that show a 3D geometric program that helps facilitate the activation of your higher strands of DNA. We're going to show you a few clips from it and highly suggest you check out more of their work as well as their website. The following is an alchemically coded ceremonial experience embedded in film as a visual audible interactive event. Watching it, will result in the reconnection of 12 circuits of life force permanently. Re-embracing your field of awareness into the holistic space-time continuum electromagnetically. Functioning upon the laws of resonant harmonics, these codes reconnect the energetic delivery system that downloads a holistic virus of source consciousness. This divine directive enters the human biocomputational field and initiates the collapse of programs that are reliant upon the synthetic mutant matrix, activating a disassociation from the predominant dualistic ideology of prejudice and separation, initiating an altered brain chemistry that informs us that unity 
is the superlative human state. Keep your eyes open. Allow the coded visuals to imprint your DNA. Allow the integrity of the sonic spoken code to resonate with the receptors in your cerebral cortex. Resound the spoken code within the spaces left for you to speak, to add your voice to the revolution, to evolution. When it has ended, it will begin. Seek a peaceful space, enjoy, integrate, transform, celebrate. The flower of life is the pattern of how consciousness creates reality. It creates through spheres of awareness in the void to create conceptions of space and dimension through vibrating waves of energy. This energy is the original consciousness field that is interacting with itself by expanding its awareness within as well as outside of itself. Every time it expands, it can go deeper in understanding what itself is by experiencing itself and creating something new. From the flower of life manifesting, there are five basic structures that come into manifestation first, which are the elemental forces of energy. From there, they continually fractals into smaller and smaller aspects and variations of each other to create more specifically the details of the reality. The important thing to remember with this geometry is that you are it, and it is you. It is everything in the universe, which includes your consciousness. Many of you out there might see this and say, Oh, that's cool, but not really know how to integrate it into your being, knowing, and everyday life. There are a few ways to do this, and if you really want to understand, do all of them. The first thing you can do is get a compass and practice drawing it yourself. Try a number of times to connect different points to each other and make different shapes and geometries. Every geometry has a meaning. A good example is the five platonic solids we've discussed before. Every shape has a relationship to the four elements which structure the universe and the fifth element of life. And yes, the movie, The Fifth Element, was all about that. Go watch it again. You wouldn't believe the symbolism in there. Of course, continue to learn about it and allow the information to flow. Test its resonance against your heart and see how the information feels. Drumvalo's The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life books are very deep and have a lot of information as well. And we have links to them on our website, or even better, check out Drumvalo's website. Besides those, my favorite way to get into the fleur de life is to play Helixile. Helixile is a game developed by David Beeler, a very amazing being in Asheville, North Carolina. Helixile is a game of creation and expansion of ideas, and demonstrates through the flower of life how all things are connected. The way you play this game is by creating a flower of life pattern, or even just a seed of life, and begin to explore the connection of ideas. If the universe is thought, then this should be a natural progression. In the first sphere, in the middle, start with the first thought which can be whatever you want. You can connect it with a question if you're trying to find out something or try and find a much broader picture of that simpler idea. For this demonstration, we're going to start with spirit as it is the title of our show. And then we find connections based on that original word, spirit. Consciousness connects with everything. Creation could link with evolution, change. And finally, all of these together can create experience. Remember that there's an infinite number of possibilities as what gets written here. And as long as it feels right, keep going with it. Then we continue. Life and consciousness breathe humans, us. Human consciousness is connected to source consciousness. Source and everything are energy, which creates a balance with creation. Creation and balance means that there would be two, and two, creation and evolution, makes for movement. Direction comes out of evolution and movement, which leads to purpose. Purpose and change create obstacles, which leads to furthering our knowledge. Through knowledge and experience, we get wisdom, which through life breeds understanding. Humans' understanding is deep. Deep within the heart of our human spirit is a flame, a light that never goes out. It can appear in our ambition, and which with a lot of energy can move rapidly. Rapid energy yields high frequency. This can yield harmony and flow with the balance of the poles to create a dance. Pole shift comes from the movement of the poles through a dance, which of course brings us ascension. With the direction and ascension, we create a new earth. We're almost done. Our purpose and direction in the new earth is to create and heal. Let's write healing. With our healing purpose, there can be some obstacles which manifest as challenges, and we can hold fear about them. But it's okay. With our knowledge we acquired, we create breakthroughs for ourselves. 
and empower us to use the wisdom and understanding to become a master. Wasn't that fun? Try that on your own, or even better, try it with a friend or multiple friends. Take turns making grids together back and forth to further connect your minds and ideas that you have. Playing this game can completely change the way that you see yourself and the world, and how we're all connected even further. See, you can use it for science and for games. We also, of course, want to give all of our love and support to our friend David, who put this game together. He's also crafted these beautiful Helixile boards with some instructions, some markers, and a few other special pieces to the game. Please support David by checking out his site and picking up a board. They're laminated and washable, and you can really brainstorm like mad with them. If you're trying to figure out something, or there's a problem to solve, or you want to look deeper at anything, try Universal Geometry. It's powerful. Shankara Shiva, Shankara Shiva, Shambhu, Maa.